And always is in math, you know, everything builds upon itself. So we have to watch out for what I refer to as ranges of probabilities. That remember, if we see some sort of phrase like at least, more than, less than, whatever phrase we see, that often we have an or probability. And so we're going to have to find multiple probabilities and then add those cases together. So let's look at example two. For a particular college, the probability that a transfer student will transfer to a local university versus further away is 75%. Find the probability at least, and I underlined it as a help here, excuse me, at least five of six randomly selected transfer students will transfer to the local university. So obviously that means that five will or all six of the people selected. So I like to find the parts. So success is to transfer locally. I mean, not just transfer, because these are transfer students, but hopefully we know what we're looking for. N is 16 somewhere. Is N 16? I think actually N is 6. I don't know why I have a 16 written there. Sorry about that. Let's change that to just be a 6. Sorry. And then we have X. So first X is going to be 5, and then it's going to be 6, because we want 5 or 6. P, the probability that somebody does transfer locally, is 75%. And Q, the probability of, well, failure, but it's not failure, it's just transferring somewhere else, is 25%. So what I need to do is find the probability that five of my six people transferred. So six people choose five to transfer. Five, because that's what we're looking at here. The probability of success five times, because that's how many students we're looking at here. Failure, the rest of the time, six minus five is one. But then I have, oh sorry, six minus five is one. Then I have or the probability that all six students transfer. So now stuff starts to get a little bit different. The combination is six choose six. I want all six to transfer. The probability of success is still 75%. But now it's to the sixth power, because we're looking for six successes. Failure is going to be to the zero power. If all six transfer locally, then none of them are going to transfer far away. So even though the P and the Q stay the same and N stays the same, X changed based on which probability I was looking for. So now I need to find the parts. When you do the combination of six choose five, you just get six. A lot of times we get huge numbers, but this one's not so big. 0.75 to the fifth has a lot of decimals. And then 0.25 to the first power, well, hopefully you know, it's just 0.25. Don't forget, we've talked about before, but in probability, when we work with or, we change it to a plus. Go back to chapter four if you need to. When you find the combination of six choose six, you get one. There's only one way to line to pick six people from a group of six. Order doesn't matter with combinations. 0.75 to the sixth power is a long number. And don't forget, 0.25 to the zero is one. Anything to the zero power is just one. So I'd still work out the left side to get the 0.35 number, the right side, well, we were just multiplying our middle number by ones, so it didn't change that. But then I'm gonna go ahead and add these to get 0.5, 3, 3, 9, 3, et cetera, and turn around and round my answer so that I get the correct probability. Hopefully that helps.